One popular and effective way of investing in commercial real estate is to invest in a local area. And that is selecting a local area and putting your efforts in one area. So get to know that area and see what's going on. Now, what factors do you look for? You look for growth projections. You need to research to see what are the growth projections in the area. You understand the projection growth rates of the local economy and job market. This will help you identify opportunities. Some of the factors could be the population growth in the area, the unemployment rates, the birth rates, generally the demand for real estate in the area. You can do that by looking around, see how many for lease signs are around, whether they're staying on the market for long when they're leased out, what's selling, what's not selling, what type of buildings are selling. The other one is looking for people, developers have spent their money buying land and building new buildings. There must be something, there must be a surge in the economy. It can indicate the area is experiencing growth, or it could also, on the other hand, lead to a decrease in supply. It could also lead to an oversupply, too much. So if there are new buildings being built and they're taken up reasonably quickly, they're all leased or sold or occupied, it's usually a good sign. Another thing is to have a look around at the government sites in the area. Check with the local council. Are there plans to rezone in the areas? Allowing for a greater height or more retail or more industrial or more business or high density housing. Another one could be the government maybe building new roads, new infrastructure, new bridges, something which would boost the economy. On the other hand, it could be something like a road diversion if it's a country town. That could be devastating for some country towns. Is there plans to sell a new industry in the area? Are there government incentives to have a new business? Very important to know that. So look around. Any plans to rezone the area to allow for changes of use? Revitalization plans can also lead to increased demand for commercial estate as land becomes more attractive to businesses. But then again, you've got the you know, possibility of an oversupply, initially at least anyway, so take that into account. Look into the characteristics of the local area. Basically study the demographics. Look at the things like income levels, the spending habits. Are they spending more in recreation items? Have they got high mortgages so they can't afford to go out as much? And maybe if you're leasing somewhere where there's a retail component, which relates to spending power, there could be a problem there. Also potential risks of increased population. There could be demand for property, increased costs and values, and you're paying more money for it. Also, look around the business area to see what's, what's business seems to be growing in the area. Are there a certain type of industries that are more accounting, a financial businesses growing? Are there more tourism things growing? Are there more educational things growing in the area? Just to get a good idea to create the right fit for the local market. Consider all these items. Do your research. If you're doing this, if you're looking for a local market, and there's a good chance you'll find yourself that ideal investment. Also, if you're new to commercial real estate investment, I have a new book, just came out recently, Commercial Real Estate Investing for the residential investor. But it's still, that book can be for any commercial investor. A lot of tips there, which would help you in making a decision on how to purchase. I also give, give some actual stories of some spectacular gains I've had for clients. And I outline how I did those in the book. Or subscribe to this channel. This is Contacitas from CST Properties. Thank you.